Yeah, I'll take your old one. Oh, yeah, let me back. Hold on. You babysitting. I'm gonna call you the lady. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I am. Come on. Welcome. Thank you for coming on my cooking show, man. Ah, uh, my pleasure, man. All right, so let's start off by saying, uh, by, I guess, just your, what's your name, right? And where you're from? Well, I'm. My name is Anant Gaur. I'm from New Delhi, India. It's the capital. <laughs> oh, nice. Okay, okay. Well, I'm going to be cooking something which is pretty common to be cooked in normal Indian households. It's called red lentil. In Hindi, in my language, it's called lal masoor. Um, so we'll cook red lentil soup or red lentil gravy, if you may, with rice. Well, honestly, uh, as a fun fact, before coming to United States, I always used to observe my mom cooking in the kitchen, That's and the best, best way to learn. <laughs> that is indeed. <laughs> it's been like ten months since I've been in US, and um, I've started cooking here ever since I've come, because of course I don't have my mom or anyone here to cook for yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, you you got to do it yourself, right? And, <laughs> and the moment you suddenly cook something out of your hands, you, you realize you're capable of doing what your mom can. Like, that it's, it's all about that magic, you know? Something that you carry forward from your family, you cook in different place and different environment, and yet still you're able to get that flavor, which straight away takes you back to the roots in the kitchen where my mom cooks it. So, there are a lot of different varieties of rice that are available in the supermarket generally, but when I'm cooking an Indian food, I prefer to have basmati rice with it. Basmati rice is basically a long grain rice, which is when cooked in a finely way is non-sticky. So it's unlike sushi rice. And it's uh, the mass producers of basmati rice are India and Pakistan. Uh, basmati rice is commonly uh, produced in the northern part of India and it is consumed by the majority. So that I thought to be the best and most appropriate rice to be consumed with red lentils today. Well, I would say what I are going to have today is not going to be an Indian food Americanized for Americans. This is authentic Indian food that you're going to enjoy at your place. So the spices which are used in this food is basically the general common spices which are used in the home-cooked food in India. Um, as a fun fact, the normal misconception in America that people have is India is fond of cooking spicy food. When we say spicy, we mean food should have different variety of spices. And you'll see it today that the food which I'm going to make is going to have four or five different variety of spices in it from cumin seeds to turmeric powder to red chili powder to garam masala and coriander powder i'm good to go all i can surely tell you is this be prepared to try something new so these onions need to be finely chopped hence i'm going to try my level best to chop them as finely as i can you know yeah and if roughly they'll take some more time to cook but they'll provide with a brilliant flavor mm. Everything's already starting to smell good and we haven't even started yet. I'm excited for those jalapenos. Ah, yes. So this is where the things get different. Generally in India when we use green chilies, we go for the typical Indian chili that's available. But jalapeno is going to provide its own unique flavor because I haven't cooked much red lentil with the usage of jalapenos. So ah. yeah, it'll be nice. It'll be a nice flavor. After all, that's what food making is about, right? Experimenting and getting to know what works for you more. That's it. That's what it's all. That's exactly what it's all about. Thank you so much for giving this opportunity to me at very first place, man. Yeah, same here, man. I'm glad you came on. Welcome to my kitchen. <laughs> like it. <laughs> Cozy. Cozy. <laughs> We have tomatoes. Mm. All of them are partially finely and partially roughly chopped, if that makes sense. These three are the pretty uh, most the, like these three are the pretty uh, prime ingredients, you know, to be used in the process of being cooked uh, red lentil for the provide nice flavor. So you gotta make sure that you wash lentils before you cook it, for it's got high quality of starch, and when you wash it, the starch uh, gets reduced, you know. Yeah. And it's better to be cooked like that. So. Uh, I have soaked them up for like 10 minutes in the water and now all I got to do is fill it with the appropriate amount of water that's meant to be needed. So 
you can pretty much calculate it on the basis of the bowl. For mm. example, if you're using one bowl of lentil, include three bowls of water in it. Ah, okay, okay. So you don't even really need a measuring cup. Mm -hmm. <laughs> See? Now the beauty of Indian cooker is, uh, uh, pressure cooker, mm -hmm. is the excess amount of water it itself releases. You'll see it once it's going to be cooked. Here's the thing about pressure cooker. Uh, it's more of like a vacuum. It doesn't prevent for any air to be passed through. The only air that can pass through this is through this part. It's Ooh. called a whistle. Pressure cooker whistle, you know? Ah, interesting. So, once it's been cooked, mm -hmm. the measurement of the food can easily be deducted through the number of whistles. Red lentils are cooked very fast. Okay. So they need not more than two whistles. Okay. You'll hear the whistles as the... Ah, literally the you hear the whistle. Mm -hmm. That's great. All okay. right. We're ready to go. So lentils are meant to be cooked in the water so that it becomes really light. Once it does, you use the vegetables that you cut with the blends of different spices which I'll be making on this thingy right here in front of you. Once that thing is cooked, you blend the both together and you get the spices and the flavors. Yes, bitch, it's getting hot. <laughs> All right, to start with, what generally people use in India is ghee. Ghee mm. is basically uh, kind of like a butter mm -hmm. made from the cow's milk. In this case, I'll be using Ordinary, yeah, Walmart but, butter. Walmart butter. Wow, but um, <laughs> gotta cut that part out. <laughs> <laughs> we'll fix it in post. What I'm gonna do is take certain amount of it, put it right here. Ah, you gorgeous motherfucker. Once this sound comes, here's the technique. You reduce the gas to medium flame so that it cooks finely and nicely. Mm. So first we are going to put inside something which we call in Hindi zira and in English cumin with the combination of acephoid teda. Right there you go gorgeous. You'll smell it and you'll get to know what it smells like. It's exotic. Fun fact, cumin is good for your immunity and acephoid is good for your digestion. Mm. Mm -hmm. Have you watched any good movies lately? Many. I like to watch movies every week. Um, nice. Yesterday I watched Jurassic World. It was it was better than uh, the previous one, I believe. Really? Mm -hmm. I like the first one. I haven't seen the second one yet. Watch it. I mean, according to me, it was better, but well, people... There are a few people who are saying that the prequel was better than the sequel. <laughs> okay. But there are certain films which are definitely worth to check out these days. Mm -hmm. Hereditary, brilliant horror film. Upgrade, a nice classic type of homage, B-grade action film it is, you know? It's pretty good. Copy that. Oh man, if y'all can smell this right here, this smells... If this one word, I, I can only say ho homely. This smells like home. It does. Uh, <laughs> mom will be so proud. Yo, shout out. Shout out to your parents, man. Shout out to my mom. <laughs> shout out to my dad. <laughs> they gave birth to this amazing guy right here. Minced garlic and ginger, which we are here to open. <laughs> okay, how about this? Generally, when I cook, I measure it with a spoon, but I mm -hmm. believe I'm good to go with um assumption right oh okay ah, gonna i'm play going to need spoon i mean you see that sizzle right there yo i gotta tell you anon that looks fucking gorgeous ah uh, and it sounds like about arranged right. marriages so um well arranged marriages do still happen in india and um many a times i'm not kidding many a times it turns out to be pretty good Oh, really? Yeah, for example, wow. uh, think of a guy who has been in many relationships okay. and most of them have been failed, you know? So, well, I, I remember this one guy sharing his experience with me, telling me that, hey, you know, I've been in relationships before this and all of them have been failed. Then my parents thought of 
you know, arranging my marriage with someone else and I was like, okay, I'm good to go with it. And it turns out to be he's having pretty good experience. Now I, I know it's like, you're getting to know a person, I mean, you know, you meet a person one day, you have word with each other, your family communicate with each other and then you come to the point that yeah, you, yes, you want to get married to them. That, that's, that shit's fast. But not as fast as it used to be now. I mean, people take months, people take years, people take their time to get to know each other before taking that big Now, if they're decision. taking that, if they're yeah. taking a while, um, do, do the pre, do the parents give them freedom to kind of let them know each other? Or is they kind of like, come on, hurry up? Or in today's yeah. world, in today's time, they do. Uh, yeah. So it gives them time to date and really, okay, that's good, that's good. Look at these onions, they're changing colors. Ooh. Change of garlic, cumin, asipatera, and onion gives you this. Mm. But cheers. Ooh, cheers. Cheers. Okay, so generally what we do in India is use Indian chilies, okay. which is not easily available here, you know? Okay. So, you definitely need something as a pepper to be included in this dish, and each pepper gives its own flavor. Ah, okay. This so is me. First time cooking the same meal using different pepper, that is jalapeno, you know? What, what kind of pepper do you usually like to use? Um, Indian chili, typically. It's, Indian chili? It's know. really spicy. Ooh, yeah. Okay, okay. Pita is available in Indian market though. Um, I don't know. When he asked me, I was like, uh, I was like overwhelmed. There were so many peppers. And jalapeno is usually my go-to pepper at Subway's and stuff. <laughs> 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 So this is where generally people lose their patience. The key to making good Indian food, especially something like lentil, is to make okay. sure okay. that your onions are cooked nicely. And yeah. cooking onions take time. Yeah, because they, they're crunchy at first, but you gotta let them get nice and soft. Yes, and it should change color, you know? Yeah, for sure. Look at, they go look from at white this. to brown. Yeah. For sure, for sure, man. I know exactly what you mean, brother. It takes patience. That's what I mean when I say cooking with love. like. It's always about cooking with love. Because when you don't cook with love, you start rushing it. And when you start rushing it, you don't get the meal that you're initially trying to cook, you know? You're so right. When you love what you're cooking, when you love what you cook, you cook what you love. You know what I'm saying? I got you. And then you eat what you cook. I don't know. <laughs> but it's all about love and cooking and eating. I was trying I to connect know. it. See, they are, out of all the five senses, let's face the fact, the best one is taste. Smell? Taste? Yeah, 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 yeah. I want with smell because of right now, but it is taste. Well, you are you are absolutely right. For example, if your smelling sensation won't be strong, you won't be able to taste the food as well. Yeah. But with that being said, what they say, smell is the strongest scent connected to memory. Mm hmm So that's you know, it's like smelling there now. It's like a time machine. It kind of brings you back to another time period. That actually makes sense. If I'm going to smell the food which my mom cooks in the kitchen, yeah. like I'll instantly get to know, you know, I'll freaking run away yeah. towards it. Like like a Pied Piper is playing flute somewhere and I'm just following him. <laughs> uh, tomatoes to be added next. Tomatoes. tomatoes. All right. Now generally what many people prefer to do in India is mm -hmm. blend the tomato in blender and use the puree of it. Okay. But so we could have bought tomato paste, or is that something different? Oh no, you can use tomato paste and you can simply cut tomatoes and then let them cook as well. Okay. Both the, uh, it doesn't make much of a difference okay. in terms of uh, taste, mm -hmm. but they both have their own different, let's say, giveaway towards uh, the food that we mm -hmm. we are cooking right now. As it's going to be cooked, it will slowly be melted, you know? Oh yeah. And you'll see it. Like, it kind of creates like a paste. It does. Mm -hmm. Like a puree. Mm -hmm. And that's exactly when we are going to add our dressed uh, spices, you know? Okay. Because the main ones are yet to come, my friend. Mm. You know what? My mom was surprised when she saw me cooking food here because she honestly thought that I'll be just eating junk food from outside, you know? Which is what I've been doing up until I started the show. <laughs> <laughs> I've always thought this myself. Pizzas here are considered to be fast food, you know? What's that? Pizzas? Oh, yeah. That's well, considered junk food here, but. And but it's dough, cheese, and sauce. It's not that bad. Exactly. And that's what I think. <laughs> like, just think about this. I'm it comes from. I'm a New Yorker, so this is my kind of guy. Yeah. Yeah. It comes from Italy, right? Yeah, yeah. And I'm thinking myself, if it's a really general food which they cook at their home, uh -huh. so they do make pizzas which are not harmful for your health. 
But they mo and, but they mostly make pasta. It's usually sauces and cheeses. It's it's, in, it's usually foods of the same family. Mm -hmm. That you makes sense. I mean? Yeah. Yeah. So I don't know. You're right. I'm at it to your point. Like even like if you just have a bowl of pasta in Italy, they still have garlic bread on the side. Love pa garlic Parmesan bread. Parmesan cheese. Yo, isn't garlic bread amazing? Oh, it's yeah, amazing. Yeah, I know, man. Same thing, toasted with a little bit of like some melted garlic on it or something. Oh man, lovely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, with with uh, chili flakes, oregano, pinch Ooh, chili on the flakes. Ooh, chili I love flakes. chili flakes on my pizza, matter of fact. Those red pepper flakes. Mm -hmm. Oh man, I, I, I do that. Like when I get pizza, I do the red, the red chili flakes and uh, parmesan. Yeah, and parmesan. Yeah. So which is your favorite sauce, Alfredo or the red one? Tomato. Yeah. Tomato. Perfect. Oh, I like Alfredo, but if I had to choose one, yeah, yeah. probably. Yeah. Same here. I always prefer um, what's called Arabayata sauce, if I'm not wrong, the the tomato one, over Alfredo. Well, cheers to that. Oh, cheers to that. <laughs> That's a good yeah, cheers to Jennifer Lawrence. Mm. Shout out to Jennifer Lawrence. Yo, what's yeah. the last Jennifer Lawrence movie you watched? Did you see Mother? I watched Red Sparrow. There's that, that means there's special scenes in there though. Red Sparrow. Director's cut. Red Sparrow. <laughs> really? Red wow. Sparrow. I might Sparrow. watch it tonight. Look at those Red Sparrows. <laughs> <laughs> that food is looking like Jennifer Lawrence right now. Ah, oh, much more better than Jennifer Lawrence. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Smells better too. Now how you say that? I don't know what she smells like. <laughs> I don't know what she smells like. <laughs> oh, Jennifer Lawrence. Most of the Indian girls, Indian ladies out there, you know, they are more like enigmatic personalities. Mm -hmm. They, if revealed to you themselves, they don't reveal themselves completely, you know. There is always this element of surprise that they have. And most of them are shy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Shyness itself has got some kind of, you know, charm. Yeah, I agree. It's so freaking beautiful. It's like, 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 a, like a mysteriousness, if you will. That makes sense. Like you kind of don't know, but you want to know. So you start asking questions. You are supposed to uh, saute it until and unless the tomatoes become like this, you know? Yeah, it becomes more of like a pulpy. Fuck yeah, my English teacher will be proud. We are gonna make, uh, we are gonna wait for one more minute. Okay. Two minutes actually. Okay. And after that, we are going to start adding all the spices in it. Mm, nice. I'm gonna have another beer in the meanwhile. Nice. That's okay. Yeah, I'm five eight. You must be five eight. Yeah, five eight. Nice. What are you? Five. Five seven. Okay. Yeah. I'm five eight is exactly the height of Rihanna, which we were discussing today. Oh she's wait. Wait. How? how Rihanna. Tall? Rihanna how tall? is five eight. Five eight. Mm -hmm. Hey, you like you know, Rihanna? You know what that means, right? Yeah, I like Rihanna too. There's, there's Hispanic people yeah. in India? No, but uh, what I surely do know is there's so many Hispanic women that I've met here, mm -hmm. which at first I thought that they were Indians. Yeah. This is weird. Indians, Mexicans, basically Hispanics resemble a lot in terms of looks. Naan oh. is classic. Here's the fun fact though. Yes, naan is an Indian food, but um, actually it's Mughlai food who introduced it in India. But here's the thing. It's not generally cooked in home, you know, it's basically consumed during events and social gatherings and stuff. And what is I this? have a blend of red chili powder with turmeric. Ooh, red nice. chili powder is good in terms of spices because it's spicy, yeah, I'll, of I'll course. Have to die for you yeah. Why Thanks, man. Yeah, got you. Red chili powder is spicy, of course, but what's more important is turmeric for its naturally antiseptic and it's got a lot of different uh, good, uh, you know, benefits of consuming it. So if you get a cut or something and you don't have medical attention or anything at your place, all yeah. you can do is take a pinch of turmeric, put it on your finger. But make sure it's not blended with red chili or else you'll be fucked. Turmeric, uh, right? Turmeric? Actually, I don't know. in India, we I mean, where I'm from, we call it turmeric. Here I've heard people pronounce it mostly as turmeric. Barber shops in New yeah. York, like, I don't know, maybe all around, whatever, but they have a little bottle of some powder. And if they nick you while they're cutting your hair, Maybe it's in that family, I don't know. Maybe. Are you right, Jennifer Lawrence, come yes. through. Next to be ordered, next to be added to this is right here, garam masala. Ooh. Garam masala is basically... Gra garam masala? Garam, yeah. Garam masala. And then next up, we oh. have... Oh, what's that right with there? Coriander Sorry. powder. Ooh. Ooh. Now we Fucking need Christ. some salt. That's amazing, bro. Mm. Will you need salt? Yep. I got some salt for you right here. So here's the thing, if you're using cooking oil, you okay. know, instead yeah. of butter, yeah. mm -hmm. make sure you add uh, more salt. But if you're using butter, butter itself has got certain amount of salt, you know. So you have to be careful in terms of adding salt. Add less so that if it's, if it is less, you can add more later to it. However, if it's more, then you're fucked, my friend. And don't get fucked. Nobody wants to get fucked. 
Wow. Oh, maybe. To all those guys who out there are feeling really sad about being single, remember, there is one girl definitely in this universe who at night before going to sleep rubs herself thinking of you. The more you know. <laughs> Some more? A little bit. Uh, that's it. Sous chef. Yo, so tell me a crazy story growing up in India. Like, you and your friends ever did some wild, crazy shit? There are many crazy stories, not one. I mean, you're growing up in India, of course. Everything is going to be crazy. When I first arrived here, people were telling me about uh, Black Friday sale, you know, yeah. how it's really crazy. It's filled with people fighting off against each other in terms of buying shit like there's there are people Literally killed there's videos online of it. Yeah, man <laughs> and, and, and I was like hey, it's it's some good shit because I'm going to get to save my hell lot of money, mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. So people were saying to me don't go for Black Friday sale if you love your life or this and that I just myself <laughs> think of staying away from it and I'm like no let me see what's the crowd let me see what's going to happen and everything oh okay so I arrived there early morning at Best Buy and I look at the queue of people <laughs> standing there and I look at them and I say bitch that's less competitive comparatively to people who show up early morning in the Delhi metro man that was nothing I was I was surprised that it was hyped so bad yeah I know <laughs> that's funny I mean, I never thought about it like that. New York is dumb packed, and yeah, I see what you're saying. It's stupid. Because people fight. People are, oh, oh. Hey, look at that. That's the first whistle. Now you see, that's the first whistle which came out of it. We need two whistles as such. So the first one's done, we are going to wait for the second whistle. Remember, I had told you that if there is going to be excess amount of water, it will release it? Yeah. That's what it did. Did just explode. You wanna smell this? Yeah. Oh my god. Your mom, your mom will be so proud of you right now. Hopefully. <laughs> yeah. I believe it's pretty. I'm glad good. the jalapenos work, man. I'm glad they didn't sabotage anything. They didn't. Probably. They have given a different output towards this dish. Okay, good, good, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Alright, so, so they have a little Kenny the Penny flavor in there mixed in there. Kenny the Penny flavor! Ayo! Hey, hey. Kenny the Penny flavor! Hey. Hey. Oh yeah, like only it? first part, not the second one, but yeah, same I mean, here. I just watched the first one the other day, like like straight through, like you know, in its entirety. You know what Ooh. blew my mind? What's that? You realize that 30 minutes of film has passed in front of you, and yet still it's the same setting, the marriage, the gathering, you know. Mm -hmm. And that's what that's what beautiful about that film. There's so many different characters with different characteristics being introduced towards you in the span of 30 minutes. And it still keeps you freaking edged towards your seat. Like you don't get bored of the Because you don't know what's happening, but you're interested. Exactly. It's that same concept of being a fly on the wall in a room. Like, and you're like, I just want to hear what they're talking about. Hey. There's hey, scenes God. where they're like, there's scenes where they're even eating Chinese food and they're, you know, they're, they're discussing plans and... You're like, yo, these guys, they're just, they're fucking cool as hell. Mm -hmm. <laughs> just a couple of mobsters, you know. No, but I really like that first scene when it's uh, Don Corleone's daughter's wedding. Ah, oh, yeah, man. You know, and everyone's coming and bringing them gifts, but they're asking them for favors too at the same time. So it's like, it's this, you see, you sense, you get this sense, like, okay, this is this boss, he has his family outside getting married. You get these wide shots, it's a beautiful mansion, it's a beautiful party, so you know they got money, you know they're rich, you know he's a boss, you know he's a Don. And there's people coming to him, they're kissing his hand, they're asking for favors, and, and then on top of everything else, he talks like this. And you're like, oh my god, that's, yeah, I know what you mean. And you're like, this film is about to be amazing. And then you introduce Michael Corleone, played by Al Pacino, a young, young, young Al Pacino, and it's just the rest is history. How is that? Oh, food gas, my friend. I'm excited to make oh, you try this. We might have to put that in slow motion. He just had a food gas. You have to make sure that you let it stay like this so that the whistle if you'll come close to this you'll be able to listen to the sound of the gas releasing inside you know yeah, yeah. so if you generally pull the whistle off it'll come outside fast mm -hmm. but you have to make sure that it doesn't happen much for it's going to slowly be processed inside the pressure cooker the exact term for something like this in okay. India okay is called tadka what's that Tadka or... Wait, wait, how do you say that? 
No, no roll of the R's, my bad. No R. Tad. Tad. Ka. Ka. Tadka. Tadka. That's close, I would say. <laughs> Tadka is basically what this is. Tadka is a terminology to be used for different spices and vegetables being c- cooked together in terms of making, a, let's say, flavor which is going to be blended with the main food component. In this case, it's red lentils. See, English is not my primary language. My vocabulary is all right. But even if it would be strong, I won't have an exact perfect adjective in my mind to describe how it smells like right now. It smells pretty good. <laughs> it smells pretty good. You want me to try? Yeah. I need to take the camera. It's still rolling right now. There you go. I'll take that. Ooh, let's get it. Can we get this it is going to be that? strong, all right? I'm giving okay. you a heads up. Ready? Yeah. Mmm. Good, clean, spicy as fuck, <laughs> but in a good way. Yeah. He asked me if I love spice, if I like spicy food. I told him how yeah, I don't like spicy food. When it's going to be blended with um, lentil, mm-hmm. then it's going to be a balanced flavor, you know, because that's a lot in quantity with water in it. Now we are going to prepare our rice. Ooh. Pasmati rice, right here, long grain rice. Yeah, I love that long grain rice. When you in New York, when you stop at a like a halal food truck, you get that long grain rice. I'm gonna add water to it now. Okay. And I'm gonna boil it rather than cooking it in the pressure cooker. There are people who prefer to cook it in pressure cooker to take uh, to reduce the amount of time. You know, it cooks uh, faster. Okay. But then it becomes sticky rice. Um. I don't like consuming sticky rice with lentils. That's just me. Okay. But, but the benefit of boiling rice like this is that once it's prepared, the rice grains do not stick with each other much, you know? Copy that. Make sure that you wash the rice. Yep. It's important to always wash the rice because look at that white what look at that whitish color. That's basically all the excess amount of starch getting removed from the rice, you know? More stra- more starch leads to more stickiness in the rice when being cooked. And of course you don't need excess amount of starch. You should always have appropriate. Yeah, so tell me about your love of video games. I remember when first time video game was brought to my place at home, you know? It was my uncle, uh, my father's younger brother. And he was playing something which was connected to the television. So from the mindset of a small boy, he was controlling certain actions in the virtual world by having something in his hand. What made it interesting was the fact of having power in your hand to control certain limits or actions, you know. From the point of view of a small boy, he was intrigued. Like me, I was intrigued. Oh my God, there is a duck being killed through a gun in the virtual reality. (laughs) That freaking dog is going to show up doing (laughs) after that. Like, still irritating as fuck. But ever since then, I knew that video games are something which I'm never going to give up on. Times have passed by, of course. Um, Nintendo... PS1, PS2, Xbox 360, Xbox One is now what I play with. With that being said, I totally respect Sony and PlayStation as well. They're pretty cool. I'm not like a guy who's partial towards one console. I believe all the consoles have got their own different advantages, you know? Yeah, I agree for sure. So, um, I remember playing Injustice Gods Among Us when it came first time. I was so hyped for it. Oh my god, DC! PC playable characters like yeah wow. yeah agree um, I bought it straight away on my Xbox 360 um, and I tried my hands on every other character you know mm-hmm. every character and I found Deathstroke to be the most engaging one out of all um, I set my hand on Deathstroke and then I get to know on that same day that after two days is going to be held a tournament for injustice 
at a place which was nearby my home, you know? Mm. It was more of a gaming lounge. That's cool. And I was I like hyped. That, so they had like a like a place in India where like you can go in this TV setup and consoles? Oh, yes. Uh, well, the same place is, I believe, not there anymore. Okay. But there are many such places for sure. Yeah. There are many such places. Like a gaming cafe kind of place? I've read about some of this. Um, like in Taiwan and other countries, they have cafes, internet cafes where, you know, you can go and play some PC games, but... I've never seen one where they have console gamings hooked up. That's pretty cool. Oh, it, it is. It is indeed. You know, that's why Japan is on my bucket list to visit for sure. Because in Japan, many people are crazy about video games. And it's like, it's like nerd paradise, you know? <laughs> Every freaking thing is so gorgeous out there. Video games, cosplays, animes, manga. That's why I'm excited to go to Japan for sure. Like I would love a lot to visit it. You um and you said you're you mentioned earlier that you were a fan of Dragon Ball Z, right? Oh yeah, I enjoy watching Dragon Ball Z and playing it as well. I recently bought a uh, Dragon Ball Fighter Z on Xbox One. It's addictive as fuck. It's amazing. <laughs> now it's a is it a fighting game? A traditional fighting game? What what style? What genre is it? So it's it is a fighting game. You okay. Know, okay. But, um, it is still different from the usual uh, Dragon Ball games. Usual Dragon Ball games are 3D fighting games. Mm. But this one is the 2.5D, the initial classic Mortal Kombat taken type of style. Ah, okay, okay, cool. And I'm, I'm assuming since it's a newer game, there's a there's like, you got all the characters Pretty from much like, like the whole series? Um, what I liked about this one was the fact that in all the other previous uh, Dragon Ball games, they have basically pay played out the storyline of the anime, you know? Yeah, copy but that. This time, the <coughs> creators have made their own exclusive different story, you know? Well, I added some more mortar, uh, water so that, you know, it still has a bit of gravy left in it. All of this is going to be added to that later. To this bad boy right here. Yeah, right here. Wow. And I gotta say, it looks and smells amazing. Everything turned into a nice, like, caramelized paste, gravy. I don't yeah. even know. Like, whew. You could just, I don't even know. If I had just a spoon, I probably would eat that. I can't eat that by itself. You see all that, that steam and everything? Yeah. That is basically the heat being evaporated from it. I brought this from home, yes. But if you want to buy one as such, it will be available in the Indian Indian market. Oh, come here. You might want to check this out. So, you see this? Mm. It's like the sign of lentils being cooked. <laughs> Look at those lentils right here. Mm. They're like, they're completely cooked, you know? They're gravious. Oh, that's amazing, bro. You know, whatever we have cooked on the side, Tadka, we are going to add that in this one. Okay. That's how we are going to get flavor effect. Mmm. Flavor effect. What you need to do is add all of this right here. Alrighty. What I'm going to do is take certain amount of water from it because see each and every bit of this flavor right here is precious, you know. Mm. Oh, you put the water back in it to, in, an, in an attempt yes. to re-scoop all that flavor in there. It's all about the seasoning and the flavors. Exactly, yes, my friend. Yes, yes. Agreed, my brother. Agreed. If you'll take a look at this now. It was all yellow originally. Now as I'll blend this, oh, it's like it'll brothy. change the color. Oh my god, it's like a brothy soup. It is, my friend. Lift it up. Yeah. There you go, jalapenos, tomato, onion, and all the spices. Okay. Butter, cumin seeds, asifoteta, um, onions, tomato, ginger garlic paste, chilies, that is jalapeno, garam masala, red chili powder, Turmeric and coriander powder. 11. And salt according 12, to taste. 13. 
about 13 ingredients in it, I think, if I count it correctly. How's the time for you to taste it? Alright, now is the time for me to accept that challenge. Ooh. So this is it right here, guys. About 13 flavors all mixed in here. Wow. We are making rice as well, and I'll be preparing special salad for you guys as yeah. well. I need my beer. Uh, cheers to that. So we have got some nice jalapenos here, which I'm going to cook, cut finely, if it may. Get your lime here. Yep. Tell me about your your present hobbies and things you want to do. I love acting and I've recently backed a role for another thesis film, but nice. besides this I love script writing and direction. Mm. Um, uh, I have been working on a script currently, which I would love a lot to shoot soon, you know? Okay, okay. Yeah, and, I got that, I got that thanks man. Yeah. Which I would love a lot to shoot soon. Yeah. And um, here's the thing, see I am in America, you know, I'm not in India. Right. Um, in India, at least there were people who knew me. Out here, no one knows me, you know? Yeah. So, it's going to be quite a challenging part for me to look for a job, something, or maybe find something nice worthwhile, you know, to work on. Okay. But that's what I'm hoping for. Mm -hmm. I'll be graduating this year in the month of September. And after that, I'll see where I'm going to get the best opportunity. With that being said, if it's going to be in India, I'll go back to India. Take me with you. Fuck yeah. I'll be a group. And I'll be a tour guide. Oh, yes. That hey, works. Serge, you'd like to join us as well, right? Yeah, I want you some mangoes, man. There's all these different types of mangoes <laughs> out there. Generally, back in India, when we cook, uh, when we have salad, you know, mm -hmm. we basically use spice called chaat masala. Chaat masala is really tangy. It's really tangy in, in flavor. Now since you don't have chaat masala, what I'll put in it is um, salt, mm -hmm. lime, and a bit of, bit, not much of red chili powder. So it'll be, it'll be giving a nice flavor. Plus jalapenos, tomatoes, and onions are going to give their own flavor, you know? Make sure you touch the bottom part so that it doesn't stick from the surface. Yeah. You know, you know, in, in, in the Spanish community, we eat that sticky rice that sticks mm. in the pot. Mm -hmm. Pegao? Pegao. We call that shit Pegao. Pegao, Pegao, sticky rice one. What kind of music do you like? I like listening to everything, but yeah. I'm more into indie alternative rock. Oh, okay. And I like indie alternative uh, trance. What kind of music is trans music? Think of it to be more of EDM. Mm but they differ from one to another so they have got their own different tributaries as well inside Copy. what else we are going to do now is just take them all in one container we'll just add salt and red chilli powder in it not much, not much red chilli, bit and of course the main ingredient is lime which gives it the complete nice flavor. Sing. Bada bing, bada boom. Oh, Ooh. motherfucker. Nah, you're uh -huh. good, brother. Drop that one in the sink. I got another fresh spoon for you right there at the top. Thanks, yeah. man. You're awesome. Yeah, got you, brother. So, bit of minced garlic. Bit of it. All you need now is lime, lime, lime. Make sure those seeds drop in there. A salad is a must at the end of the day. Ah, like during okay. during dinner, salad is a must. Nice. Yeah, it should be like that in every home. You know, you can pretty much add whatever you want in terms of salad and just add lime to it with salt. And there is something called kala namak, black salt. Black salt is brilliant in terms of its flavor. It gives amazing flavor, man. All right, we have got dal right here, salad. Hey. And rice. Anan, anan, anan. You've done a beautiful thing right here today. Thanks, you know man. that? Thanks. You know you've made magic? Like David Copperfield? 
like David Blaine. You know, that's the beauty of it. What I know here is something that's taught by my mom to me, which was taught by her mom to her, which was taught by her mom to her. So what this is right here is a recipe passed through generations, you know, which is somehow so usual. But if you see, if you see, it's more of a traditional thing which is passed from ages to ages from people. Bro, when you travel the world and you go to other countries, not that I have, but I'm saying, you know, in general, mm -hmm. um, in different countries, a lot of the meals are this. They're meals that were created by the first generations. And they said, look, now for the next generation, if you guys want to survive, this is it. This is what you guys have to do, literally. And yeah, so this is a teaching lesson. This is education. This is um, bringing you know, people close in one meal, in one shot. It's just all right there. Hey, Kenny the man! Kenny's the man! Oh, you're the man, man! Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, man. Right. I'm gonna take some rice. Okay. Put it right here. Let's put it in the bowl. Just put it in the bowl. Mmm. Rice right here. <laughs> Now the way exactly it's coming out right now, this texture, everything about it, this is the way it's supposed to like, is this the way you, it usually comes out? Yeah, exactly. Nice. And it yourself. depends from spices to spices, you know. What I've added are general spices that typically people use. Ah, and happy. if there are people who would like to experiment with the spices, you know, they might put something else. Mm. And some salad. You've got rice, you've got salad, you've got dal. Enjoy, my friends. I am so ready for this right here. Thank you, my brother. Mm -hmm. We are ready to rock and roll, baby. Let's go eat. All right, well, here we are. We made it to the last act, the best act of the whole show. Oh, thank you. The best part, which is where we get to finally taste this delicious meal. So uh, now take it away from here. How do we do? How do we engage in this? All right. So um, how we generally use? I mean, how we generally eat in India is just mix the rice with dal. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. Mix it well and then eat it. And, and just chop right in. Exactly. Simply. Actually, I'm just gonna pour. It. I'm gonna go full savage and just pour some right in there. And the salad on the side. Mm -hmm. You save that, or you mix that into, or you oh, you mix it. That. You mix it if you want, and oh, so this all becomes one beautiful concoction. <coughs> exactly. It got some heat to it, so. Oh man, whose phone is this? Is that mine ringing? Mm -hmm. Oh man, we're gonna have to call that. What's this called again? Uh, dal. dal. It's lal masur dal. I blended the dal, the salad, and the rice all together. No, nice. here we go. The salad is really good. Actually. Mm. Oh my god. It tastes so clean, so fresh, so spicy. Mm. Wow. Mm. And the ingredients were not that expensive at all, guys. And even those three little vegetables was under $8. The only thing I bought was like the rice and a couple of vegetables. The Indian spices, where do you recommend people that aren't too familiar with Indian culture and food and stuff like that, where do you recommend they would go to pick up some of the other ingredients that you talked about? So, um, any Indian market which you might have nearby your place would be a perfect place to pick up certain stuff slash such, mm. you know? Cumin seeds, garam masala, dhania powder, or coriander powder. All these things are available in Indian market. Plus, if you'll go for Indian onions and Indian chilies to be added on it, it will taste on another level as yeah. well. Yeah. Yeah. Anybody could say, oh, well, um, it looks like they just, you know, just made rice and vegetables. But I'll tell you right now, the spices that were thrown in here, mm -hmm. they make me have to pause before every line. The smells and the taste and oh man, and it definitely cleared your sinuses. You can probably hear it in my voice right now. 
Yeah, um, definitely gets the blood flowing. Like spicy food in general, that's why I love spicy food. It gets the blood flowing. I would still say it was close to how generally food is cooked in India. Like a typical dal. Mm -hmm. It is not... It was not that way authentic, you know, because of minor tweaks that we have done in this uh, creation. Mm -hmm. How it is close, it is close to what we eat in India. It's nice to know that I could pull up, like if I fell out of a plane and landed in India and I didn't know the language, I didn't know what I was doing, but I, I know that I could walk up somewhere and be like, dal, dal. Mm -hmm. Everybody will love you for that. Hey, this guy knows what dal is. Give him extra. Pour him extra. I'm dying. I just got off a plane. I don't know where I am, but dal, please, now. <laughs> dal, white rice, extra spicy. All right, guys. Well, after a delicious Indian uh, dish cuisine, Anand, my brother, cheers, man. Thank you, man. Damn, cheers. I say all the whole time. You just... Gotta say it with a little like anger. Like if you're mad at him, you want him to come upstairs. Anand, um, be sure to uh, you know hit a little like button, hit a subscribe, um, and uh, be sure to follow me on Instagram at Kenny the Penny. And the man <laughs> of the hour, right? Fucking here. Is there any uh, social media you want to plug? Or anything oh like yes, that? Uh, I'm on Instagram as Shop It. S H A. I messed it up. Shop It stands for cursed. Basically, it means cursed nuggets. Cheers. Oh. Cheers. Oh. All right, guys. Again, thanks for watching. Until next time, we out of here.